ఆనరబుల్ యూనియన్ మినిస్టర్ ఫర్ జల్ శక్తి శ్రీ గజేంద్ర సింగ్ షిఖావర్జీ ఆనరబుల్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఐసిఐడి మిస్టర్ రగబ్ రగబ్ వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఐసిఐడి శ్రీ కుష్వేందర్ వరాజీ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ కౌన్సిల్ delegates from various countries representatives of international and national organizations other delegates ladies and gentlemen a very good morning to all of you it's a matter of immense pleasure that the andhra pradesh state government is hosting this prestigious 25th International Congress on Irrigation and Drainage and also 74th International Executive Committee meeting of the International Commission on Irrigation and Drainage namely ICID in this wonderful beautiful city Visakhapatnam from 2nd of this month to 8th of this month that is for this entire one week period i extend my warm welcome to the eminent participants and i wish you all a very pleasant and enriching experience during these events and your stay at visakhapatnam i am impressed and pleased to know about the initiatives and contributions in the field of irrigation drainage and flood management of icid in tune with its overarching objective of sustainable agricultural water management in this line in this connection andhra pradesh is a riverine state with 40 major medium and minor rivers and has a rich heritage of agriculture and irrigation dating back to several centuries the state government is committed to utilizing the irrigation potential in the drought prone and upland areas and to enhancing the agriculture productivity for every drop of water by adopting the concept more crop per drop as envisaged by our, our honorable prime minister of india the state of andhra pradesh is confronted with several challenges no doubt these challenges are faced by almost every state in this country but though the state has particularly as far as our state is concerned but though the state has a large coastal belt we have regions like rayalaseema and western parts of south coast which frequently encounter droughts due to scanty rainfall impairing the living conditions of the people in those areas further being the lower riparian state with respect to major interstate rivers like vamsadara nagavali godavari krishna and penna the state encounter encounters water shortages during lean monsoon years and also havoc during high floods due to intense rains in the catchment areas to effectively address this irrigation is the only possible solution in fact uh, today's topic also tackling water scarcity in agriculture one would seriously wonder probably immediately the thing that strikes your mind is probably going for micro irrigation probably going for sprinklers to tackle a water scarcity in agriculture but okay these kind of things are basic necessity as to how to conserve water but in my opinion the bigger debate should be transferring water during the monsoon period which is during the june july august september 
where it rains and these days due to global changes climatic changes that are taking place these days what you see is when it rains it pours you have you're witnessing a situation where the period of rain is very small very sh very short in number of days but when it rains it pours and during this period effectively transferring water from one basin to another basin would be the biggest challenge to address this situation of tackling water scarcity in agriculture this is of my firm belief that one would have to come up with cost effective and at the same time in that cost effective nature itself trying to transfer the water from one basin to another basin within the limited time within the limited time frame increasing the uh, while the capacities of the dam continue to be the same the drainage system that is the canal system would have to be probably uh, in the most cost effective matter, manner widened to transfer the water from one basin to other this would be one particular debate uh, what i would urge this council to this commission to seriously contemplate because this is one particular uh, site that we are seeing especially in in uh, my state when it rains it pours and i think uh, this is a global phenomena which we are all witnessing and i am sure that uh, this commission here which would be debating on all these issues with respect to sustainable water management in holistic in a holistic and comprehensive way would evolve technically feasible economically viable socially acceptable and environmentally friendly solutions i am wishing this uh, uh, commission all the very best and while i also thank uh, uh, the indian government and also this commission for giving andhra pradesh state this opportunity to host this event i wish to conclude by expressing my appreciation for this renewed commitment to the principles of sustainability equity and collaboration i am quite certain that together we can contribute to a more water secure and food secure world the inter disciplinary thinking debate discussion and recommendation recommendations of this commission will continue to make a lasting impact on the future of in the field of irrigation drainage and flood management going further thank you all wish you all the very best